and welcome. I am Justin, and today I will be teaching you how to create a VCAR G code generation using Epingrave. Let's get to it. First, let's go over the few of the basics. We begin with a DXF file. This is a drawing exchange format file. It is generally accepted across many platforms. That's why we're able to use it in this program. Then there are the G code files. G code is a programming language for CNC machines that tells them when, where, and how to move. We will be generating our G code using Epingrave. All right, so to get started, we need a DXF or any type of CAD drawing. I generally use AutoCAD to draw my files, but many online sites have free downloadable files already in DXF format. Download a file of your choice or follow along with the file that I have provided in the description. The Epingrave main screen allows users to create G-code from their own words and fonts. We will not be using this feature in today's video. First, we need to open up the DXF file that we have just saved or downloaded. Click on the file tab in the top left corner and we are going to open a DXF file. This opens our file explorer tab. Navigate to where you saved your file and open it. The file then opens in the large box to the right of the settings. Now that we have our file open, we can go through each of the settings to determine the outcome that we would like. First, you'll notice at the bottom, it gives us the bounding box, which is the height and width of our final product. Now I want my final product to be about four inches tall. So I'm gonna change this image height to four inches. Now you'll notice that it's asking for a recalculation. For this, we'll just go click recalculate and it'll recalculate the image to the correct size as it shows here below. We can also change the width by changing the image width percentile. The next set of settings allows us to change the image position and orientation. We will only be changing the origin. Generally, this can be set however you would like, but I generally set it to the top left because it makes the most sense to me. Below that, we have the G code properties. The feed rate and plunge rate greatly depend on the type of machine you're using, the material you are cutting, and the bit you are using. Look into each of these factors before determining what these should be set at. For my machine, I set the feed rate to 50 or 60 inches per minute and the plunge rate to about half that, so 25 to 30 inches a minute. We also have a Z safe setting. This is the height at which the bit travels above the workpiece when it is not cutting. There's also an engraved depth. We will not be using that because we are going to be using V-carve, which is the setting just below that. Next, there are a few specific V-carve settings that we need to change. For this, we'll head up to the settings panel, down to V-carve, and this will open a V-carve settings page. You'll notice that there are three different types of bits that you can use, a V-bit, a ball nose, and a straight bit. We're going to be using a V-bit. Next, we have the V-bit angle. Just to the right of that, there is a diagram showing you what it is referring to. I have a 60 degree bit with a diameter of a quarter inch. So I change those settings accordingly. You'll change those settings according to what you have. Below this, you'll see the max cut depth is 0.217. I'm gonna set my max cut depth to 0.2. Make sure this is a negative number because it is cutting below your zero point and it can't be any deeper than the max cut depth was. There are a handful of settings below the bit type that we will not be using because they do not apply to this particular project. If you'd like to look more into those, it's kind of interesting to see what you can actually do with many of these different settings. The last settings that we need to change are the cleanup operations. We first have the end mill cleanup. We do not need to use this because this sign is not large enough to use this. We will use the V-bit cleanup. I normally set this to about 0.02 as it cleans out the inside of the letters fairly well. All right, so the last step in the process is to actually calculate the G-code. To do this, we'll click Calculate V-car. Off to the right, you'll see the black outline appear for where the V-bit will be cutting. Next, we'll calculate the cleanup. This will fill in all the extra space that the original V carve did not cut. Now we need to actually save the G code that we just created. To save the V clean, hit save V clean G code and save it will you remember. To save the other G code, 
hit save G code under the file tab in the top left corner. Save this one in the same spot so you remember where they're both at. When you get to actually cutting this out, it is a good idea to run the vcar file before you run the vclean file. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any additional questions, leave those in the comments section below and I will be sure to get to them. Be sure to check out the additional links I've provided if you would like to learn more about epingrave, file types, or CNC machining. Please enjoy this short time lapse of this Ford logo actually cutting out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.